Hi, welcome to this video tutorial for Tetric. Tetric is a chord sequencer and arpeggiator for live. It's based on the classic arcade game Tetris and it works with Push 1, Push 2 and all of the Launchpad models. The idea of Tetric is we have a shape sequencer here and we have all the classic shapes from the original game and the idea is when a complete horizontal line is created then it creates a trigger which triggers um, a particular chord. There are various settings for the shape engine which will be covered in another video. So once a full line is created a chord is triggered. So this goes into the chord engine and the chord engine has some probability factors included in it um, where it will decide which chord is going to be created. You can choose the key and you can set some parameters like uh, sticking with just minor major chords or you could choose to have some sevenths in there or any extended chord. With any extended chord we get to choose from uh, a probability of any of these being used each time a chord is generated and there are some functions to limit how many different chords are created and whether you want to have a repeated sequence or not. Okay, once the chord is generated that feeds into the arpeggiator. So the arpeggiator is really the heart of the device, it's the last stage of the output. So we have uh, a velocity sequencer for the arpeggiator which can range from 1 to 32 steps. And we can change different velocity values for each step, we can activate and deactivate the steps. The arpeggiator works in a slightly different way to conventional arpeggiators in that it organi always organises the notes in lowest to highest and this lets you reorganize or resequence the notes so we can use this note sequencer to um, either play all notes sequentially or we could reorder them so we get the first note repeated um, if we were using a chord with uh, for example four or five or six notes in it. Again more details on this will be covered in another video. There's various routing options for Tetric, so um, each of the modules can be bypassed. So you could actually bypass the chord sequence, the shape sequencer, and you could trigger the chords with MIDI, or you could deactivate the chord engine, and you could just use the arpeggiator and send your own chords into the arpeggiator. Okay. So to get started with Tetric, uh, you'll need to make sure you load up the correct version for the control surface you're using. There is a MIDI version which is uh, for just a standalone without any control surface. Once you've selected, uh, just choose your control surface from the drop down. If you don't see your control surface, just click the little button and it will refresh. I'm using push 2, so click push 2 and with push 2 it will take over the pad matrix here. If you're, It will do this whenever you're in note mode. So if you switch to session mode you can use that as usual. Note mode will take over uh, using Tetric. If you're using launch pad you will be using the either user 2 or the user mode uh, to access Tetric. For each of the different shapes you can have up to 8 and you can set various parameters like what shape you want, how fast you want it, if there should be an interval, whether it's running or if it's stationary. So here for example the idea is to get a little shape running, so uh, uh, sorry, uh, some horizontal lines uh, being created. So a simple way to do that would be to create a line uh, and place it on. If we press play it will be running. Uh, we can use shift and hit any pad and it will rotate. Let's just take it off interval for now. So we can rotate and we can use arrows to nudge. If we use shift and arrows we can change the direction uh, that it runs in.
Okay, if I go to the next shape, again, I'll just choose a line for now, and let's uh, run this opposite direction. And the idea is the more shapes you have running in different directions, different speeds, you'll start to create horizontal lines at different stages, thus triggering the chord engine, um, which can make it a little bit random. It is possible to set up some fairly repetitive uh, shape sequences in here as well. Okay, please take a look at the other videos for more detailed explanations of the different modules within Tetric.